This is part three on creating our spaceship on Tinkercad. For this part, we are going to be creating the windows on our spaceship. And this part is fairly simple. It doesn't have too many steps. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create two different windows. We're going to create one that looks like the lights are on with the yellow and one where the lights look off. And then as far as the outside of the window goes, you can create whatever color you'd like. So the first thing we're going to do is place a cylinder on the work plane. And then we are going to scale the cylinder down to be 10 by 10 millimeters on each side. And then we are going to make it four millimeters tall on the Z axis. So we're going to take this and we're going to pull it down to four. Now we are going to duplicate this cylinder. So I'm using the duplicate or control D. And remember that when it duplicates, it duplicates itself right on top of the original object. So you have to click and pull it away to reveal it. And then the second part of step three is to make sure, oh, the first part of step three is to turn it into a hole. So up here where it says solid, we're gonna turn it into a hole. So step four, we're going to scale the whole cylinder, so this one right here, down to nine millimeters. Nine by nine on each side. And the reason for that is because we are going to cut out a smaller section from the center of the orange circle. So we need it to be just a tiny bit smaller. Now we are going to take this and we're going to move it on top of this. Now you'll notice that when you try to center these two, you're going to most likely get stuck on the, the snap grid. So instead of trying to turn your snap grid off, you can select both objects and then align them this way. And you should have a gray area in the middle and it should be a, tr a small trim on the outside. Now before you group these together, select this, the cylinder in the middle, the one that is a hole, and duplicate that and pull it to the side and then turn that one yellow. The reason that we're doing that is because once we group these together, this is going to be cut out in the middle, and then we're going to want to replace it with a filled in section. Now, you might be wondering why we have to go through this whole process of making it a hole just to fill this in, but you can see that if I were to try to put these on top of each other, Oops. you're going to get this sort of weird overlap with the colors and it won't and it won't look right. We also are going to have to set this down a little bit. So if you notice in here, the center cylinder is pushed down a little bit. And you can't do that unless the middle of the orange is cut out. So back to this. I'm going to duplicate this, turn it yellow. Okay, now I'm going to select the two cylinders here, just these two, and I'm going to group them together. So now it should be completely cut out. You shouldn't have anything on the bottom. And then we can take the yellow and put that in there and align those like this. Now, it says on step seven to move the yellow cylinder down so that you have it inset. But the issue with that is then it's kind of poking out the bottom, which isn't a huge deal because it's going to end up being inside the spaceship, but I prefer to just resize it a little bit. So I'm just gonna do it like this. Actually, I'm going to turn off my snap grid so I don't have to do a full millimeter. I can do a little less like that. 
Okay, I'm going to now duplicate this, the whole thing. And I'm also going to group these. And I'm going to click on solid and select multicolor so I can maintain my color. If you want, you can change this outside orange part. So I'm actually going to just quickly ungroup and I'm going to change this to white. And I'm going to change this one also to white. And then I'm going to make this middle one black so that looks like the lights are off. So change your colors first and then group them together and select multicolor to maintain your original color. Okay, so you should have two windows. And if you want to now, this is where you can take some creative license and you can alter the shape or the size. So maybe you want more oval shaped windows or maybe you just want smaller windows. So I'm actually gonna do my windows to be five by five. And I'm gonna keep the height because I'm gonna end up pushing it inside. And I'm gonna do the same here. I just prefer smaller windows on mine, but you can do bigger windows, that's up to you. Okay. Now that I have my two windows ready, we're going to place them on the spaceship. And this can be wherever you want. You can put it on the door, you can put them up here on the top, or even up here, and on any side of the spaceship as well. So the way that we're going to place them easily is we're going to use that work plane tool that we used before. So I'm going to click my work plane tool, and I'd like to place one here, one here in the middle, and one on the side. So I'm going to start over here. Okay. And then I'm going to select my window and I'm going to paste it on the work plane. Now, you'll notice it pasted the wrong side. So, the reason I show this to you is because you actually want to copy your window before you hit the work plane tool. So hit copy first and then use the work plane tool so that when you paste it, it will paste the bottom of the window or the base of the window on it. And you can't see it's a little small. Let me move this up. Oops. Mine just got pasted below the work plane. There it is. And I so I just used the triangle tool. So right now, this is the same as if the, the work plane over here, it's just at a different angle. And I'm gonna click and I'm gonna drag this over to where I want it. And then I'm going to use that triangle again to push this below the work plane, or in this case, inside the spaceship. So about there. I still want it sticking out a little bit. Okay, awesome. Now, I want to copy another one here, but um, if I wanted to copy the black one, I'd have to click out of the work plane, copy the window, and then go back into the work plane. It's a weird, unnecessary step, and I don't know why Tinkercad is that way but that's just the way it is. I'm just gonna keep doing some of the yellow windows, so I'm gonna press V again. But if you notice, I'm still on this angle. So it's putting it at kind of a strange place. So I actually need to get out of the work plane, copy this again, and place the work plane tool in a different location or angle. So now I'm doing it straight on, and I'm going to press V. Mine keeps pasting really below the work plane for some reason. And right now it looks like it's on it, but if I rotate around, it's actually floating away from it. So make sure that you do a lot of orbiting 
to be certain that it's in the right spot. And I'm going to push this in with the triangle on the z-axis. I'm just going to double check that that looks okay from all sides. Okay. And then I want another one right over here. So again, I'm going to click out of the work plane, back to what we had before, copy, and then use the work plane tool over here. Okay, and then V. Control V, sorry. Then I'm going to, I'm just going to scooch this down a little bit. And I have my snap grid off right now so that I have a little more wiggle room. And the hardest part is just making sure that they're all in the same spot about. That looks about right. Okay, I'm gonna put one black window on the back here. So I'm going to select this, Control C and then I'm going to place my work plane tool there, control V, and I'm actually gonna, for this one, I'm gonna size it up a little. And then make sure you're using the Z axis, this, at an angle so you can see how much you're actually pushing it in. It's hard to tell from here what you're doing so kind of do it at an angle and push that in like that. Great and now it looks like I have a room in the back with the lights off and I have a room in the front with the lights on. And you can do about like two to three windows it's up to you. It's always nice for everyone to have something a little bit different. But that is essentially windows. The next step we'll be doing is creating the legs for the spaceship in part four. That will look something like this. So stick around for the next video on how to make the legs.